Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing fine today. And thank you so much for being here again. And if you are new to this channel, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be updated every time I'm having a new video. So for today, we're going to do a DIY project. This is a gardening mat. This will be very useful, especially when we are repatting our plants. If you've seen my previous videos, especially the repatting video, you can see from there that I'm using a basin to catch all the soil in some other materials. But I think it's still not enough. I can still see a lot of soil from everywhere and uh, the working area is a bit messy. That's why I decided to have a gardening mat. So recently, I started checking online and from there, I can see that the cheapest one cost around 50 dirhams. That is around 650 pesos approximately. So it's a bit expensive. We can buy two plants in that amount already. So I decided to just make my own. I just needed to have a good material for the gardening mat. And now that I have it, I have decided to make it. Our main material for the gardening mat is a waterproof plastic sheet. Um, it's better to use um, like this one I'm gonna show you guys. This is like a polyvinyl plastic material. This is waterproof and it will be very good for our gardening mat. And we are also having the blue one. This we will use it as a design or the lining one. Um, it's better to use the darker color, I guess. But this blue one is a little small compared to the white one. So we will use the white one as our main material and the blue one for our design only. So guys, let's get it started. We're going to need a waterproof material, some polyvinyl fabric, a ruler and a pencil for markings, and buttons. First, we need to make some markings from the center. Take 12 inches up and down. And from both sides. This is for a 60 by 60 centimeter size of our gardening mat. Fold it in half and then another half like this. And then let's make the line from the markings that we took a while ago. And now we have a perfect square. So let's open it up and there you go. Now we need to fold the sides about 3 inches wide. And do the same for all the other 3 sides. Now we need to put the marks where to put the buttons. Open up the folded parts and at the corner where the two sides meet, put the mark on it. Do the same for the rest of the corners. And now we already have the markings in the four corners where the buttons will be placed. Now let's put the buttons. I'm going to use a snap button and I'll be using a super glue to attach them. Remember the markings we did a while ago? Paste the buttons where the mark is. Be careful while using the super glue as it might stick in your hands 
and it's very difficult to remove it. Again, do the same for the other three remaining corners. And now we are done with the buttons. Now let's work on the linings. Take about an inch wide. And then paste it on the side. Make sure to paste just half of its width as we gonna have to fold it to the other side. Like this one. And then again, we have to do the same thing for the rest of the sides. And now we're done. It should look like this. Now let's try to fasten the buttons. And there you go. Now our gardening mat is ready to use. You can use this gardening mat while doing some gardening stuff, especially while repotting. It reduces the mess in your working area and all the dirt and the soil will be contained inside this mat only. This is a waterproof material so you can wash it after every use and you can fold it after into a small size and keep it in your drawer for the next use. So guys, that's all for today and now we are having our own gardening mat and now we can do repatting on the next episode maybe I am gonna show you um, and how effective this gardening mat that we have made. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!